state has decided that the World Health Organization and the Ayush Ministry will collaborate to promote international acceptability and awareness about Indian traditional medicine. Meanwhile, the Cabinet uh, Committee on Economic Affairs approved six railway lines and a railway bridge to cater to increased passenger and freight needs across the country. The Cabinet also gave in principle approval to the LIGO India Mega Science proposal for research on gravitational waves. Here are the details. The Union Cabinet has approved the signing of an agreement for collaboration in traditional medicine between the Ministry of Ayush and the World Health Organization. This will help in improving international acceptability and branding of Ayush systems. Ayush comprises Ayurveda, Yoga, Yunani, Siddha and Homeopathy systems of medicine. This may special focus hai benchmark for training in Yoga, benchmark for practice in Ayurveda, bench for uh, mark for practice in unani medicine and benchmark for practice in panch karma to bhartiya paddhati ke jo swasth labh ke sari ye aushadhiyan hain inko antarrashtriya star par inki gunvatta inki kshamta inki sambhavnaon ke bare mein jankari aur international benchmark ke anusar inko punarsthapit kiya jaye to is disha mein ye bahut hi mahatvapurna kadam hai in another important decision, the cabinet has given its in-principle approval to the LIGO India Mega Science proposal for research on gravitational waves. The approval coincides with the historic detection of gravitational waves a few days ago that opened up a new window on the universe to unravel some of its greatest mysteries. The proposal known as LIGO India Project Laser Inter Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory in India is piloted by the Department of Atomic Energy and Science. This approval coincides with the historic detection of gravitational waves a few days ago. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has taken an important decision to expand railway infrastructure in the country. The CCEA has approved projects of six railway lines and a railway bridge to cater to increased passenger and freight needs across the country at a cost of 10,700 crore rupees. These projects are in uh, various states. One is in Hubli, Chikjaur doubling project, which is 190 kilometers. Varda Sevagram to Balarsha third line project, 132 kilometers. Ramna Singroli project, which is 162 kilometers. These projects are largely in the coal area, so that this will also augment the resources of railways in terms of carrying more freight. The cabinet gave its nod for the amendment of Delimitation Act, Representation of People's Act, to allow delimitation of constituencies in West Bengal. The amendments were necessary after exchanges of enclaves between India and Bangladesh last year. The amendments will enable Election Commission to carry out delimitation of constituencies in Kuch Bihar district. Shailendra Mishra's report, DD News, Delhi.